sex, it is just like money. If you don't have enough of it, you're really unhappy. But it's also like money where you max out in happiness at a certain level. So really interesting about some of the research too, where we used to think more of it would lead to more happiness, just like more money. But it looks like as long as you're doing it once a week, it wouldn't matter if you were doing it four times a week, you're at the same level of happiness. There's something wild about sex, something magical. Certainly creates this cascading of uh, biochemical reactions and does bond you closer. It's why when people are not having sex, they feel a little bit more distant and then also that it is so healing, especially, you know, after a fight. In the season of love and Valentine's Day, I've got some great relationship hacks that will likely lead to you having a better sex life. Excitement. So it's really important that you're doing something exciting as a couple. There's a lot of research to show that when a relationship is forming or even when it's established, if you're able to increase your adrenaline, there is greater attraction together. Now I have a great story because this kind of worked for me. When I was first dating my wife, for my 30th birthday, she got me skydiving lessons. We both went skydiving together. And I tell you what, two months later, we ended up engaged. And I blame it on the skydiving. Now, you don't necessarily have to do something like skydiving, but do something exciting together, something to boost up your, your adrenaline. Do something extraordinary. Now, because we have a scarcity of time, we often think that it's really important to do something even extra extraordinary. You know, like going to the Alps, going to Africa, doing something really obnoxious, but you don't necessarily have to do that. As long as the two of you have a special time together and are connected, that can be an extraordinary experience. Being wanted is so important and it is a natural aphrodisiac. So you gotta make sure your partner feels wanted. I spend so much time dealing with couples with affairs and it's usually the person that has the affair feels like they're not wanted by their partner. Somebody else wants them, so they naturally get attracted to that person. So it's important that you show your partner that you want them and naturally they will feel very attracted to you and, and meet your needs. Being wanted goes hand in hand with having a partner that gets you. So I want you to really focus on getting your partner. So many people have affairs also when they feel like their person doesn't get them and somebody else gets them. So. Let's make sure you work on getting your partner. How you do this though is you mirror them so you reflect what they say, you listen to them, you make good eye contact and you be in the moment, you put work aside, the kids aside and you get them. That's like one of the greatest gifts you can give to your partner. Now finally, you wanna make sure that you are providing safety and security. Your partner needs to know that you only want them. They're completely safe in their relationship. It allows people to be vulnerable and connected to you. If you follow these hacks, it's gonna to lead to a better relationship, a better sex life. So I challenge you this Valentine's Day, be bold, go have sex.